Hey guys, welcome back to the Simply Knives YouTube channel. Today we got a very cool review for you of the CJRB Rhea. Look at how the light plays on that carbon fiber, man. Super, super nice. This knife, you know, by CJRB, it's a nice budget blade. Looks great in carbon fiber. Um, on the unboxing, I had a really hard time opening it. But that's since changed. I've since gotten way better at it. And I really, really like how this thing opens. It has a great sound. Let's see if we can get you to hear that. Yeah. That's nice. Um, so it opens up really nicely. If you, you can just fall down like that. It's not going to cut you. It might hit your fingernail on like the very, very butt of that. But that's no problem. And then just a quick little shake, and it's closed. This thing is a very pretty knife. Uh, I like the blade shape a lot, you know? It's kind of unique. Let's see, what does it say on there? 12C27N. Pretty solid uh, budget steel. Got the CJRB logo on there, looking pretty. Looking good. Got uh, milled out liners, which is nice. Got that liner look. Looks like it's maybe about like 50%. Um, but this thing has a very, very nice action once you figure out how to open it, which I don't know why I had a problem with it at all. Now that I'm good at opening it, it's so, it's so easy. Um, never hurt either, so that's nice. Um, I will note it. I uh, will say that this thing has only thumb stud on one side, but I kind of like I kind of like that, and I kind of like how it has like a nice indent there. It would be frustrating, you know, if you were lefty, you'd have to like get this designed specifically for a lefty person, maybe. Um, I think it looks kind of cool with just the. The one screw on that side, though. It, I don't know. I guess it kind of just adds to the appeal. Like, it, it, it's kind of classy to me. Also, this pocket clip. My gosh, it's amazing. Look at that. Recessed screws and pocket clip. I never see that on any sort of a budget thing. This is the like, first one that I have that actually has that. It's got some sort of like a weird lanyard hole. Open pillar construction. Steel liners. Feels really solid in the hand. This, look, look at this, you know, it doesn't take too much to lift up. It gets, slides in and out of the pocket super easily. And let me see if I can, let me just get a, a piece of paper that I'm gonna cut later and see if I can show you how much like is actually showing. Look at that. And it looks so classy. This is awesome. This pocket clip is incredible. Um, I also like, you know, just it's small, kind of shiny I like the the hole for getting screws out because otherwise you would not be able to I just think it adds to the aesthetic of uh, of this knife as like a classy uh, gentleman's knife which is like my favorite kind of knife even though maybe I'm not as gentlemanly as I'd like to think but yeah I mean 100% on that box clip it's just great the action on this, also great. Um, has a nice little thwack. It kind of feels like it could even be assisted, but it's nice and smooth. So I think that you're gonna like that. Hold on, let me go ahead and take a look. You know, you guys know that I'm not good at finding out what these run on. Looks like it's on bearings though. You can kind of see like a little ball in there. Um, and it runs like it too. I mean, whatever it runs on, it's smooth as heck. And opens up very nicely. This knife specifically in the carbon fiber is just a very, very pretty knife. Let's go ahead and do a size comparison. I haven't done this in the last few videos. But here's a, the Rat 2 that I like to compare to because it's the you know, only like point of comparison that I actually have. 
It's the only knife that I have that's popular enough to be a point of comparison. So as you can see, the, the handles are pretty much similar length. The blade on the Rat 2 is a little bit bigger. Um, maybe if we just slide it back for the cutting edge. Yeah, maybe same height, but I think it has more, the Rat 2 is more belly, so it probably is a little bit more uh, actual blade length. Uh, here it is next to the other CJRB that I have. This is the small Feldspar, or I just like to call it the mini Feldspar. Um, as you can see, they're pretty much similar sizes, not really too different. Uh, this has a shorter blade, kind of like a bigger belly right in the middle, which I, I like. I like that it's, uh, it's just a little bit more unique. That I haven't really seen a blade style like this yet on the nice budget, budget knives. And I like that it has the 12C27 steel. Um, D2, you know, just can get rust spots. Uh, the Ganzos that I have have rust spots. This did have one when I was like doing the review. Also, the CJRB logo on this one is a little scuffed. And where was that rust spot? Yeah, it's really small, but it's right there. But yeah, that's to be expected with D2. Um, yeah, they both, both of these CJRBs kind of have like a very strong detent so that it thwacks open almost with authority uh, when you're when you're opening these. Both on ceramics, or I don't know if this is ceramic, but both on bearings. And it's a very good looking knife, very classy. And I freaking love this thing. From the knives that I got for review from the from the viewer. This one is actually my favorite, just because of how I use knives. Um, I love a good, classy knife. The centering's good. Pretty, pretty solid tip. Doesn't seem like it's gonna just snap off. Um, you wouldn't probably wouldn't be hard using with this kind of a knife, anyways. Um, and then let's see if there's blade play, because I don't. I, I always forget. But yeah, zero at all. No blade play. Great action. Really pretty, great, great, great pocket clip. Uh, every everything is great. I guess <laughs> I don't know. I can't really find something I don't like about this, especially for I think it's like the same price as the Feldspar, maybe like uh, thirty three to thirty five dollars. Um, especially in, yeah, the carbon fiber makes it very nice. I just love seeing the light play on the carbon fiber too. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm honestly trying to think of something I don't like about it. But because I'm right-handed, I don't mind the pocket clip only being on this side. I don't mind the thumb stud. This is a right-hand favored knife, so I love it. If you were lefty, you might not love it as much. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Let's do a quick paper cut. I'll prove to you this knife is sharp. Yes, it is. All right, I'll scatter that away. I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Peace.